Another morning, another perfect day in Los Sueños. He's the funniest dog. <laughs> I tell you, I got lucky rescuing this one. Oh, you're happy now? Are you a happy boy? <laughs> It's been two short weeks since the end of leg two, and there's always plenty to keep the community busy. Out here to have some fun on a Monday. Team Grand Slam finds time to relax on the greens. Jesse definitely needs a GPS tracker for his golf ball. Fun to get out with the guys and get off the boat. Meanwhile, Team Vaquero just can't get enough of the world-class bill fishing. That's what we're here to do, to have fun. In an amazing two and a half days of fishing, they caught more than 300 billfish. They were jumping in the boat. It was crazy. From six to six, we caught 164 out of 194 bites. It's hard to explain. It's kind of like a dream now. You got to give me a grapefruit to suck the smile off my face. We're pumped. We're stoked. We knocked it out of the park. Vaquero can only pray to continue that success in the final leg of the signature Triple Crown. It's a final leg like none other in tournament history, with the next three days determining both the 2020 champion and the 2021 champion. Looking forward to fishing two legs in one. We took some time to get the perspective of some of the leading teams as the final days of the 2020 and 2021 championships come into focus. We're uh, sitting in okay shape, still have a chance at the, at the overall for, uh, for last year, so. It's going to be exciting three days of fishing. You know, a lot happens in a year. Eric, what stood out in 2020? What stood out during the tournaments in 2020? <laughs> Shit. I mean, he's not even on camera. He's getting nervous. In 2020, Fish Tank had plenty to shout about. They caught more than 30 billfish and sit within striking distance for the 2020 championship. And for 2021, they lead the overall by 600 points. It's incredible and our team is all coming together because Ben's always putting us on the fish and then when we actually do things right in the cockpit, which isn't always the case, it seems to be an incredible moment. We all know when it's happening. Whether it's a tournament or not, we're just trying to do the best we can. It's really exciting to fish here because anything can happen on any day, particularly when you throw in the marlin. So it really makes for a lot of excitement. Team Galati have caught five marlin so far in the 2020 Triple Crown including this memorable marlin in the final moments of the final day of leg two that gave them a last minute victory. And we got a blind bite and a turn and we were turning on the fish thinking it was a sailfish and all of a sudden this blue marlin comes jumping and right at the boat and I was, I was like, whoa, this is the one we need. Team Galati has a fantastic position in both the 2020 and 2021 series with a third and second place perch respectively. But with leg three results determining both the 2020 and 2021 champion, it's anyone's trophy to take home. Everyone's got a shot every day to be the best team in this marina. Everybody here in the fleet's good, so you gotta go out and do your best and hope it works out. But for now, all focus for Bill Royster and the numero uno is on the third and final leg of the ladies only tournament. We have my granddaughter-in-law on the boat today and we're teaching her for the first time to be an angler and we're gonna keep coaching her all the way through it. These ladies here, we just started hooking three years ago when Bill decided to open up a ladies day tournament. Good luck, good luck baby. Bringing a lot of girls up and getting into the sport and it's just good to see it. Five. The ladies are going to do good. I just, I got to get on some fish. Team Galati wasted no time catching the first billfish of the day. This is my favorite tournament because we get to have so much fun. Just absolutely a blast. Southern Pride would not disagree, finding an early secret stash of marlin. Left thread, left thread. That's a blue marlin. Let's throw the pitch. Our captain Chris took us out to a marlin bite. That's all we saw were marlin. Yeah, 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 feed it. Come on. Pam's on. Nice and easy, Pam. That's the way to start the day. In two hours, we saw four marlin. Coming up. Be ready to wind. There he is. Woo! Jumping. Go, Pam! Jaws real, Pam. Jaws real, 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 Pam. Real. This is the first game. marlin Pam has ever fought. Real, real. Woo. Don't pop it. Jaws real. Jaws real, Pam. Jaws real, real, real here, Pam. Release! Good job! Okay, nice job! 
Two and two and two and two. She got our first Marlin today. <laughs> Pam, we're so proud of you. I was hard. The second one I got on. There he is. Oh my God. Yes, we're fishing at 500 points. <laughs> Come on, Tony. What a beauty. Come on, Tony. An hour later, I'm still fighting a marlin. Oh, here we go. Nice and easy. Yeah. Okay, Mama, you got this. Oh my God. Oh, oh he's going down. Oh, Lord. Come on, Joe. Go down. Don't, don't, don't count. Don't, count. No, 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 no. Just stay there. Stay there. And then he's right here at the back of the boat. What? And we can see. We can see the leader. <laughs> oh. oh. And then he's gone. No freaking way. Give me the date. Damn, I thought that thing for an hour. Right? That was a heartbreaker. Right there behind the boat, man. But you know what? There's no crying and fishing. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to put our lines right back in, but that's all right. Lisa picked it up. Damn it to it. Damn it to it. Damn it. Oh, damn. And Lisa got the next marlin. Get him, girl. We have had a great day today. Go, girl. Release. By noon, Team Southern Pride is in first place. Over on Numero Uno, the team is rolling in the sails, despite an early morning discovery. Karen, if you don't get any fish, it's about a 42-mile swim. <laughs> this morning, Karen brought a banana on board. First of all, we got rid of the banana. And later on in the day, she caught a marlin for us, so we're really happy with it. Very happy with the girls. They did a great job. How do you feel about bananas on board now? No bananas on board ever. Back on Team Galati, the ladies have been nonstop with the sails. Tony was out there on our heels. He was clipping away one at a time. I thought he was going to want us to death. Galati ends the day with 18 sails. But Uno Moss edges them out for first place for the leg, thanks to an afternoon marlin. They were on fire today. They caught every fish that came to the boat today. It was art in motion is the best way that I can describe it. Getting an opportunity to fish with this team has, has been a highlight for me. They're, um, they're incredibly competitive and I appreciate every single one of them on the boat. So thank you to Brooks and Maria for for all of this and, and we made it. Uno Mas finishes second in the series with 4,600 points, just 200 points ahead of Max Bet in third. So we are looking forward to more ladies tournaments. This is great that, you know, they changed it to the three tournament format. I think it really gets like everyone to showcase their skills and there's obviously a lot of fantastic women anglers down here, probably more than anywhere else in the world that come together and, you know, a lot of us fish in the regular tournament, but it's really cool that we get to have a day each tournament dedicated to us. The leading team, DAC, spent the final leg in radio silence. So we had no idea what was going on all day. We did not want to know. We just kept fishing. Four o'clock, we let them turn the radio up. Best anglers ever, best team, most fun I could ever have. They won the whole daggone thing. It was all sailfish. Never had a blue marlin. The champs caught 54 sails in three days of fishing and did it with one of the newest anglers in Los Sueños. Kelly had never uh, hooked a fish before the first leg. Thanks to the ladies tournament, she was uh, put on the uh, express lane and <laughs> learned to hook her own fish and she killed it. I mean, I'm blown away. To Kelly, we couldn't have done it without her. We love Captain Clemico. And, and let's not forget the rest of our crew because we couldn't have done it without them. <laughs> the celebration lasted into the night with the Pacific's best chocolate cake and a special message and flowers for Joni on third place Southern Pride. Congratulations to Southern Pride and the team. Tony, this is for you. We love you. Black day, day one. Here we go. Way too early for an interview. Way too early. Ready or not, the final leg is here. 
They're actually fishing this leg to find out who's going to be the winner not only of leg three this year, but of leg three last year and the series champion for 2020 and 2021. So the stakes are high, we're excited, uh, the fish are out there, and we hope they bite. There's a lot of riding on the line. It's two tournaments in one. We got two championships we're fighting for. We're sitting in third in one and second in the other. And, and we're all uh, hoping to have good fishing today. The tournament's amazing, so a lot of good anglers, a lot of good boats, and somebody's going to find them. Team War Party leaves the marina on day one with clear direction. Well, we set out this morning, and pretty much right off the bat, we had a blue and sail double. But War Party's double reveals some tough truths for Dustin and his sail. Blue Marlin crashed to the party and I'm like second rate. They send me to the bow of the boat. Dustin makes the best of his battle with a sail on the bow, but the rest of the team has nothing but love for the Marlin. Screw you, Dustin. We're going to go charge on this bluey. Nobody cares about me. They're just worried about the Marlin. Not only is the Marlin worth five times the points, it gives ten times the show. But after we released the marlin, I got a really sweet release on the uh, sailfish off the bow. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> it was a good time. Team Galati has a steady diet of sweet sail releases, slowly turning them into a mountain of points. Picking away at the sails, praying for a marlin. No marlin for Galati, but Dealer's Choice caught two of the 18 marlin released on day one. Great day for us. At 12 o'clock, we had two blue marlin we caught, I think five sailfish. And then from 12 o'clock till 2.30 uh, or 3 o'clock, we didn't get a bite. So we were like, ah. Please, please. Two more marlin on Team 8 eights, including a first-time striper release, making it a grand slam for the day. It was a great time. A great time. Yeah. Got the chain. Yep. He's got the Catch a first uh, Pacific fish, you gotta wear, wear the chain on the 8 8s. Yeah. Meanwhile, on one of the tournament's longest tenured boats, Team Gallo Pinto tests the skills of the tournament's crack observers. Relief! <laughs> Turns out the practice was necessary. This morning when we put the, the, the lines in, it was crazy. There were all sorts of boats, you know, going back and forth and everything, birds, and, and it was beautiful. All the team members uh, were able to catch a sail, and my brother got a, a marlin today as well. It was a very, very special day for me because I was able to fish with my brother after his recovery from cancer. So I am glad and thank God that we were able to fish together. So. What a privilege to get to fish together. We come in in the evening and here's Paige and the munchkin standing on the dock waiting for us. So yeah, it's, you gotta pinch yourself sometimes. It's pretty damn special. And uh, to be out there fishing and get to see the sights that we get to see, we're just so darn lucky. And uh, with all the craziness of the world, it kind of grounds you pretty well. So we're very, very lucky to be doing it. And, uh, pretty good spot to be doing it in too, so very grateful for it. It's a sentiment shared all across the community, especially true for Team Pura Vida after their incredible three marlin day. Just thrilled to be here. Feels great, you know, we started off strong. We had a blue marlin first thing this morning. <laughs> Captain put us on the marlin. They came up on the spread. We fed them the baits. They ate. Ended up with three uh, race seven, so uh, back at it tomorrow. We'll uh, make up some ground here. Feels great to finish second for the day. Tomorrow and Saturday are another two days. We got to keep going. We got to keep our foot on the gas. Team Galati's sailfish really added up. 24 in all for a day one victory. Wow, what a day! We caught four fish in the last 10 minutes to send us on our way home for a happy, happy ride. God bless Los Sueños. Just absolutely awesome fishing here. My heart almost beat right out of my chest in those last 15 minutes though. We're down by a fish with 15 minutes to go and we catch four in the last 12 minutes and it was game over for the day. I guess the moment came at 7.30 this morning where we just ran to a spot, we pulled it out of gear. We're like, oh, there's a free jumper. 
oh, there's one swimming by. And maybe we should think about this place. And we took off and ran somewhere else. It's like, hey, you know what? We got 10 minutes left. Let's go run back to that spot where we saw that tailor and the jumper. And that's where we fished the whole day and scratched out 30 bites. It was the perfect scenario for Team Galati. They just passed outage for the overall lead in the 2020 series and overtook Fish Tank in the 2021 series. Feels good today. We're going to enjoy our day. But, uh, you know, there's two more days of competitive tournament fishing with a lot of great teams. So. Tony, myself, and Bayless, I think, all pretty much right there at the top. So, tough competition, buddy. <laughs> When you catch marlin like Team Outage, there's no wonder the leaders are constantly looking over their shoulders. Alright, we got day two, lake three of the Triple Crown here in Los Sueños. We're on the 8-8s out of Singer Island. Got the Pelagic team here. Had a good day yesterday. Got a billfish slam, had a nice stripey, a blue, and few sailfish. Hopefully we find the one swimming today. Uh, regardless, it's going to be a good day. We're happy to be here and uh, another great tournament here at Sueños. Team 8-8s is in just their first Triple Crown tournament, but already atop the leaderboard. To learn more, let's get to know the 8-8s in this leg's angler profile. Scott and I are from New Mexico. This is Tonto. He's my baby. Scott found him for me. He fills my heart. <laughs> Zobi, the little blonde chihuahua, is Scott's. And she's seven, he's four. Mark Pagano is the captain. He is uh, originally from Rhode Island. He's been in the business 35, 36 years. He was a giant bluefin tuna fisherman. Um, he was a mechanic. He used to build and race cars. So we are safe on the water with him. And he's a hell of a fisherman. I think our first trip was to the Bahamas, and Kyle was our mate in the Bahamas. We got along great with him. My kids like Mark and Kyle, so we felt like it was a good match for us. Kyle's really been there from the start of me fishing. I wasn't fishing in the beginning, and he's walked me through everything. He's been very patient, which he needs to be. Then Coop, and he helps out when we need help. And then we found Luis here and Cheche. Yeah, when we first started dating, we, uh, we fished a lot on the rivers for catfish and bass and that kind of thing. After I uh, kind of semi-retired, I told her I wanted to buy a fishing boat and port fish for uh, billfish. And Jill said she didn't want to do that. And I said, well, I will go pick out a boat and you can get stuck with what I have. Or you can go with me and help me pick it out. So she decided to go with me. And he is like, I'm we're gonna do it one of these days. This is gonna be what we do. And I just laughed. I thought, it'll never happen. He told me he's not getting any younger and he's healthy, so he's wanting to fish. And I said, okay. I thought we were gonna sell it and go back home and we fished one more time. A girl was on the boat. She got her to come down and start fishing and she hooked up her first fish. She was hooked. That's all it took, one hookup. It's addicting. Mark thought it would be beneficial for us to come out and experience the fishing out here on an overnight trip. This was our first overnight. Spending the night out here was awesome. Slept like a baby. The starlight is phenomenal. What you see in your boat lights. Mark, Mark, that's swordfish bait, isn't it? Too small. Oh, is it too small? Scott saw porpoise eating squid last night right behind the boat. It's amazing what you see. We only had beef coming out, and then Kyle hooks up, what was it, a 52-pound mahi. Got to use the grill, and that was nice. So we had plenty to go around last night. We had lots of mahi, we had beef. It was a nice little picnic in the cockpit. Our first week here, Mark, called pitch and so Jill got the pitch put it out and hooked up in black marlin 
I went and got her phone and I was gonna try to get a picture of the first jump coming out of the water. And when it came out of the water, I just froze. I was just like, oh my God. I couldn't believe how big it was, but I did get it jumping after that. So we got a lot of good shots. I, I didn't think that we would see a fish that big that quickly, especially just getting here. I've never seen anything like this. 70 some odd bites yesterday and 60 something today. It's just an amazing fishery. It is giving us the opportunity for practice to try and be competitive. <laughs> She is a phenomenal angler. She's very competitive, and if the guys are gonna do it, she's gonna try to do it as good or, or better. She's very competitive in everything that she does. We've got the desire. We are finally figuring out some issues that we've had and uh, got some good anglers coming, so I feel like we've got a chance to start really working together and putting a good team together. This has been an amazing experience for me and I've been honored to uh, participate in this level of fishing and you know to be invited on uh, the fish tank has just been an amazing experience and it's taught me so much and I'm so thankful for it. We love Los Sueños. It's beautiful. There's so much to do in Los Sueños and out of Los Sueños. There's so much going on. You can never be bored here. If you are, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> I love it. In day two action, Tar Heel got an early marlin bump. Great, great fleet of boats out here, and those guys are really, really good. John Bayless Jr. caught the blue marlin this morning, I think about 8.35, and just a steady pick all day. Good job. We started in the rain, ended in the sunshine, and had a really good time. Rain or shine, Team Ragin' Cajun is always on point. They had nine sails on the day. While Jackie Cobb, the 2020 top female angler, reels in a marlin for friends and family. But it was the newcomers, eight eights, who took the day with a special pair of marlin. Two, blue marlin, bam, bam. Back to back. Like that. Surreal. It's not even really our life. Yeah, it's just, well. It's surreal. Right. To me. Like like I told you, we had a learning curve, and it seems like we're stepping it up. We're learning, and Cappy is fishy. He's a fishy oh, man. He can, fish. he can get you on the fish, and he's learning, and it's coming together. The team's coming together. Hey! On the other side of the spectrum, Team Galati have been fishing together for more than a decade. It's it's like a well-orchestrated ballet. Everybody knows where they need to be. We don't change around. Everyone has their position. We don't miss a beat. Captain Tony never met a sail he didn't want to catch, releasing 21 for second on time for the day, and mounting a growing lead in both the 2020 and 2021 Triple Crown Series. But in their successes, they keep their thoughts on a mainstay team unable to finish the 2021 series. Here we are, leg three, pandemic year. And I want to say, give a shout out to a really good buddy and a lovely lady. And that being Morgan North and Eleanor, who aren't here this year with us because of COVID. And we can't wait to have them back here next year and join us for all the fun. Captain John Legrone's wife, Vanessa, got a great birthday here? surprise with a dominating performance. That was more than 30 seconds. Well, it's her 25th birthday, again, and we love her with all our heart, and we're really happy to be here to share with her, with my son, my good friend, Tony Carasosa, my crew, they deserve all the credit. If it weren't for all these guys here, it just wouldn't happen. Right here. This is what makes, this is what makes it work. So, just another day, and another daily. Oh, a hard to beat, I know that. <laughs> Put that in the video. <laughs> Heading into the final day, Team Galati eyes a historic achievement. Winning two series in one fell swoop. On day three, a new boat joins the fleet. Team Smooth Move makes a last minute move. We smoked the transmission the first morning of, of this leg, so now we've switched over to the Bulo 31 Bertram here. It raises the, the marlin. Hopefully today we see a bunch. 
one last day in 2021 for Triple Crown fishing, and each team has a different tactic. We figure if we leave here about 7.30, we might run into them a little better. So that's a new tactic for the Sea Angel. Wish us luck. A bit of luck and a lot of skill factors into the fortune of every team, including the revved up Team Scandalous. You know what they say about the center of an Oreo? That's kind of where we are, middle of the pack, here we go. Oh my God. You know, when you're in the middle of the pack, you're chasing everybody. And when you're looking to make a move, there's no more exciting way to get ahead than with a Marlin dance. But even if the dance brings a marlin, it doesn't guarantee a release. Had a little issue with the marlin, a little black marlin. Well, kind of a big black marlin. It kind of, kind of whipped us. I went in the corner and threw up, but after that, I felt better. Paper Rock scissored our way into picking an angler to do a dunkaroo. You know, after that, we got us a little blue, got us a couple of more sails. Had a great day overall. As the day comes to an end, Team 8-8s battles a blue to take second for the 2021 Leg 3. Couldn't ask for a better day. This is amazing. It's an amazing experience. Las Sueños puts on a great event. This is awesome. Dragonfly saved their best leg when it counted the most, placing second and third in the 2020 and 2021 tournaments. Here at Los Winos, catching fish, blue marlin. Ryan here, he caught his first two blue marlin. One yesterday, one today. King James did it again. He gave us all the opportunities we needed and we blew it. Um, I think we had a 56% a hookup ratio for the tournament. I think uh, yesterday we missed 19 fish, and I'm not talking about like you miss one. And, and we this interview over. Yeah, you're doing a terrible I'm talking job. About, no, I'm, I'm just talking about he job. he gave us he gave us he gave us the shots. For me, it's just it's so much pride, and I have to say that it has been years that I did not fish the um, main tournament because it was so overwhelming, and to have the money on the table and to have the pressure. And it wasn't until the ladies tournament started that I took the time to really learn how to fish and to really get involved in it. So because of the ladies Los Swingles tournaments, I got brave enough to step in and, and take the time to, to fish with these guys. And you know, I'm far from 100%, but I definitely had some value to this team and I'm proud to be a part of it. We're really thankful to be here. Like our 14th season here in Los Swingles. This is really a family affair for us, and it means a lot. Third for the 2020 leg, Team Tar Heel is all smiles and have nothing but admiration for their captain. Well, it's an incredible experience for us all to get to fish with John. He builds an awesome boat. Never been a better boat. Never been a better guy running a boat. But it's Team Galati that runs the table, taking day three to win the leg and both the 2020 and 2021 series. When today started out, we got a blue marlin right off the bat. We were thinking, oh my gosh, this really could, could happen for us. Two blue marlins right out of the get-go. And in the end, with 10 minutes left, we hook a double. It, it, it's just incredible. It's insane. It's absolutely insane what, what happened. Team Galati returns to Los Sueños as instant double, triple crown champions. Yeah! We're really fortunate.
crushing it. We got a great team. We're so blessed. Yeah, buddy! Yeah! <laughs> and to be able to do this with this group of men is insane. It's just insane. I'm speechless. That's pretty hard for me. Love you, Dad. Love you. Congratulations to all the other teams. It was a tough fight all the way to the end. Each day it was challenging. I think everybody probably had to have thought about it or dreamt of it. It's like, wow, can you imagine if we could pull that off? And they're like, ah, not in this tournament. Not, not efficient against these guys. But holy crap, man. I'm like Pat, I'm speechless, you know, and it's amazing. It really is awesome. Glad I got to do it with these guys that I've been fishing with. We're a family for sure. Pat and Carmine and the brothers, and all the crew we've had. And Johnny and I have been together for a lot of them. And, and it's really special. Awesome moment. A truly incredible feat. It's a memory that won't soon be forgotten for everyone who loves the signature Triple Crown.